the fact that we go back, we meet Ithlein as a young woman, we watch her prophesize, and then we watch that come true right before our eyes. To me now, it lends such credence to what we're gonna watch Siri go through in the main series, and I can't wait. Like, that's one of those little Easter eggs that to me just is going to lend so much to the, to the main series. Lauren, uh, right off the bat, the first thing I notice is how important music is in Blood Origin, which it also is in Witcher, but it's kind of like a different feeling of the music. Can you guys talk about how you approached these songs? Honestly, Witcher, uh, the music is entirely important to the Witcher. We started out with the Joey Beatty character, who was a bard, and obviously music is his way of sharing story. Um, the fun part of this, of course, is that Declan was highly involved in the music of seasons one and two. You know, he wrote songs, he sang on the songs, he was literally so involved. So when we started this, and clearly we have sort of, you know, the Blood Origin version of a bard, um, and it just seemed like such a natural fit. And the music, to be fair, is one of my absolute favorite parts. Like, Fan Lauren loves the music, and I think that I will be listening to it for a very long time. It was a huge... A huge thing that came about organically. I had no plan. I knew that Ayla was a musician. That was it. But I didn't realize that those songs would become so important. And they became little characters in themselves mm -hmm. as I was writing them, you know. And it was a big risk mm -hmm. because you don't want it to diverge into musical. You still want it to be grounded. And the whole idea was that song is like, song and words are the most powerful weapons anyone can have, you know. It, they're, they're greater than any army or any institution. Um, but then it was a huge risk because... I'd written a lot of these before we cast Sophia, and I had no idea. And then that scene where Sophia's singing in the cave, that's one take. Oh, and wow. She nailed it, and everyone was like, oh. And she wasn't even a singer before. <gasps> oh, that's crazy. I know. I, know. <laughs> I so love that. She brought all this life to it and gave an extra layer to all these songs that yeah. I wrote. And, and then I got to write with Bear McCreary as well, which was just, yeah. he's a hero of mine. So I was very Oh, happy. that is amazing. Yeah. Now, without uh, spoilers, we meet at least two characters that as soon as they said their names, I was like, oh my God, I remember them from the books of the game. Uh, so how quickly, or, or, you know, like, how could, how would you guys say this series is going to eventually tie into the grander story of The Witcher on Netflix? What was interesting here was um, Ithlin and Avalach and Eredin, especially with Avalach and Eredin painting them from their uh, their baby stages where they're still quite innocent and they haven't been corrupted and um, they become this multi-layered dark creatures in, in the games and the books and in the TV show. And uh, something that, you know, Lauren was very interested in was Ithlin as as the proof of concept with Ithlin. You can, if you want to talk about that. Yeah, absolutely. It's one of the things that we were thinking about. Um, Ithlin's prophecy is all over the Witcher series, but it's often talked about as this kind of folkloric thing. And so, even though we are told that we should believe it, it's like, well, if if the people in the universe themselves don't believe it, why should I, as a viewer or writer, believe it? Um, and how does it how's it going to impact Siri? The fact that we go back, we meet Ithlin as a young woman. We watch her prophesize, and then we watch that come true right before our eyes. To me now, it lends such credence to what we're going to watch Siri go through in the main series, and I can't wait. Like, that's one of those little Easter eggs that, to me, just is going to lend so much to the to the main series. Absolutely. I cannot wait uh, to see it all play out. So thank you guys so much. Uh, it was thank so much you. fun.